Rock art is important for people around the world because it is the most long-lasting and significant visual archive of human experience. Often rock art sites are in spectacular parts of landscapes. Uh, sometimes they are spiritual places and, and have spiritual meaning for indigenous people. I'm Professor Paul Taison. I'm an Australian Research Council Laureate Fellow, and I'm also a Professor of Archaeology and Anthropology at Griffith University. Paul Taison has managed to bring together an amazing team to work on this project. Um, and he's, he's shown the sort of leadership that's needed in this area in Australia. Somebody to be able to stand up and say, we need to take rock art conservation seriously. Um, and in order to do that, we're going to start working with communities to develop these, these projects around Australia. My name is uh, Dr Sally Kate May. I'm a Senior Research Fellow in the uh, Place Evolution and Rock Art Heritage Unit here at Griffith University. Working with Aboriginal people is, is the, the most privileged part of my job and the best part of the job for me. So I, I learn so much constantly from my Indigenous colleagues um, and teachers, really. And I think it's a privileged position for um, an Anglo-descended, you know, European-descended Australian to be in because um, it's not commonplace for a lot of white Australians to be so uh, engaged with Aboriginal culture. My name is Gillian Huntley, I'm a research fellow on the Laureate Project and my research focus is about the material scientific characterisation of rock art. I think we all would like to see um, an improvement in the way that rock art is protected, conserved and managed both by local communities, by heritage professionals by the government. I think that there is scope for improvement and we can be a part of that. My name is Courtney Nimura. Um, I am a research fellow here at the Centre. Most recently I was working at the University of Oxford. So one of the things that I really love about my role is that I get to facilitate the work of the whole team and because we work very closely in collaboration with traditional owners, part of my job is to facilitate that collaboration. My name is Fiona McKeague and I'm the research assistant at the Place Evolution and Rock Art Heritage Unit. My name's Emily Miller, I'm one of the two PhD students that are part of the project. My name's Samuel Dix and I'm a PhD candidate for the Laureate Project. It's amazing because of um, it tells you a lot of story just by looking at it. I mean, pictures tells a thousand stories and words. Yeah. As you know, that could be one story, but there is another story lies behind that, and another story could be a, it's a ceremonial thing. One of the best ways to conserve rock art for future generations is to raise awareness about its significance, its importance, not just for Indigenous peoples, but for all of us. All of us have a rock art heritage. We need to inspire local communities and governments to look after rock art uh, so that it's not destroyed for mining, for uh, development, agriculture. The Laureate Fellowship has allowed me to build an incredible team to work on rock art conservation and well-being. I am really lucky because here at Griffith we have the best team possible for this job.